Hello everyone. My name is Anand Haitan. I am from SK Verda Sini Dua. Today, I'm going to tell a story about the princess and the frog. There once was a princess. She was not an ordinary princess. This princess loved to play alone in the palace gardens where she tossed around her favorite golden ball. Now, the problem was no one was able to catch the ball if she tossed it too high in the air. One day, she was running around leaves and roses. She tossed her ball higher in the air than she ever had before. Plash! Her beautiful golden ball had fallen into a small pond nearby. She ran over to the pond and watched her golden ball sank deeper and deeper into the water. The princess looked down at her dress. She was wearing her favorite golden dress. And she was afraid that if she entered the water, she would destroy her outfit. Oh no! Frustrated with her situation, the princess began to cry. Suddenly, the princess heard a strange noise coming from the middle of the water. Hop, hop! Do you not know how to swim? asked a small frog. The princess looked up and looked up and scratched her face up to the green creature sitting on the lily pad. I do, she replied. Well, why don't you come on in, he asked. I don't want to spoil my beautiful gold dress, the princess replied. Well, I could get it for you, the frog said. You can? Oh, please do, please do. She cried, but she cried. But before he jumped into the water, the frog turned to her and asked, What will you give me in return for grabbing your golden ball? Oh, you can have anything you desire, the princess replied. What I would like is a friend, that's all. A friend to spend time with me, to eat supper with me, to wait for me, to sleep beside me, to kiss me a good night. The frog said, Anything, anything, the princess cried. And with that, the small green frog hop into the water and get the princess gold, gold ball. The minute she handed it over, the girl ran around, around giggling and tossing her below ball. She had completely forgotten all about the frog. At supper, the girl was sit at the table with her father the king before both of them. It then came a small knock at the door. The king got up and walked to open it. Hop, hop, hop. A small green frog came in. I come to eat supper with you, princess, the frog said. Happily, hopping up on the table. The princess gently grabbed the frog and placed him outside the door. Slam! She turned her heel and sat down at her spot, ignoring the frog. She told him that she had promised the frog that she would spend time with him and eat supper with him and wait for him and let him sleep with her and kiss him a good night. But I don't want to hang out with him. He's gross. She 
continue. A promise is a promise, princess. We must always keep our promise, the king said once. With that, the girl slowly took the door and opened it up. Hop, hop, hop. The frog ate supper with her and then followed the princess into her bedroom where she began to read. Begin to read. What are you reading? he asked. Nothing, she replied. Sadly, the frog hopped over to her bed and sat down on the pillow before he could get comfortable. The princess ran over to him, picked him up and placed him by the window. But you promised, he cried. She sat, she sat and took him back with her to bed. She read a bedtime story and surprisingly the frog was quite smart and funny. He actually enjoyed his company when it was time to sleep. The frog asked her for a bedtime kiss. She refused. The princess shut up the light and tried to go to sleep. Suddenly, she heard the sound of a weeping. She turned the light back on to see the frog beside her. Wiping tears from his eye. She was good for making the frog cry. She tucked him in bed beside her and kissed him gently. Suddenly, the small green frog transformed into a handsome young prince. She jumped in surprise. The, the, prince heard, the prince informed her that a bad witch had put a spell on him and only a kiss could return him back to the original. The princess was the first person to break the spell. After that, Prince and princess were able to play together in the palace gardens. The princess was happier to have a playmate, and whenever she accidentally threw the ball too high in the air, she had a companion to go and fetch it for her. The moral of the story of we must keep our promise and it's good to have a best friend. That's all for now. Thanks.